In this video, we will prepare a curved endo view block using the Wave 1 Gold primary file, having first carried out the coronal flare with the rotary Pro Taper Next XA file. The first step is to develop a glide path using hand stainless steel instrumentation. The size 10 file is introduced into the straight part of the canal and manipulated using a watch winding motion until the file becomes loose within the canal. This action is then repeated using a size 15 file. After each file is used, the canal should be irrigated. Having secured the coronal glide path, the rotary XA file is now used. This file has a 0.19mm tip and variable taper along its length. It should be run at 300 RPM and 5 Newton centimeters torque. The file should be introduced passively into the canal using the weight of the handpiece alone to guide it in rather than any specific apical force from the operator. This motion is repeated until sufficient coronal shape is achieved. You will notice that as the coronal flare increases, the file will automatically penetrate further into the canal. Once the coronal portion of the canal has been prepared, the apical glide path can be prepared. If the coronal portion has been prepared correctly, the size tension file should now easily go to length. In a clinical situation, it will be at this point that an apex locator will be to used to establish the working length. As before, work the size 10 and then the size 15 to length using a watch winding motion until the size 15 file is loose in the canal. Having completed the apical glide path, the Wave 1 Gold primary file can be taken to full working length. The file should be used with a smooth, gentle apical movement, allowing the file to pass to length but avoiding using a pecking motion. After each pass, remove the file, clean the flutes, irrigate the canal and patency file. Once the file comfortably goes to length, the preparation of the canal is complete. 